Bundy's Garage. Bundy here. Hey, today we're working on a 2008 Acura TL Type S. And uh, what we're doing to this thing is the, the uh, time belt was put on wrong. Uh, one or two teeth. So I want to show you uh, what you guys need to do uh, when that happens. I did not install this belt. I would tell you if I did. If I had messed this up, I would tell you. I actually didn't. A, sh a, a local shop uh, in Temecula did this, but I didn't do it. So... Let's get started. So the first thing I did, I wanted to make sure that this was the right belt. So I counted all the teeth, 197 teeth on this belt. And then um, I had lined up the front cam, which is right here. And I had also lined up the rear cam, which is right there. And uh, I know it's really hard to see. But uh, right here, let me get this out for you guys. So right here, I made a mark right where the laser's at right here, right? You follow that all the way back onto the wall. There's another mark that lines up there. And then there's one here as well. There's a mark back right here. And that mark is right there on the cam. And they line up as well. Okay, but down below is a different story. So let me take you down here. Okay, so down here at the crank. And right here, that's where the crank pulley sits. Right here, there's a mark right where the laser's at right there on the cog. And right up here, there's another mark, an arrow. Those should be lining up. And as you can see, it doesn't line up. It's about one tooth off, maybe. Yeah, about one tooth off, half a tooth off. So we're getting misfire codes, and I'll put those codes up now. Is through bank. It was the it was the head on the rear towards the firewall. One, two, and three cylinders. One, two, and three. So what I need to do is I need to go in here. I need to take the tensioner off and reset the tensioner, bring this back around so it's at the 12 o'clock position, so that this mark right here and this mark right here line up, and then reinstall the belt. Um, it's also a good idea if, uh, when you guys are pulling off your original belt, if it hasn't broken and you're just replacing it, to go ahead and mark the uh, front cam and rear cam in two spots, which makes it a little bit easier. And then make sure you don't lose this key. This key right here, Wood roof key, don't lose this key and make sure that that key is in there when you put everything back together. Otherwise, uh, you'll spin the cog and the time belt will be really messed up. So always make sure that key is in, in place already. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get the belt. I'm going to attach it. I'm going to see if I can, I'm not going to be able to do this by hand. I'm going to take the belt and then rotate it uh, counterclockwise until it gets to 12, 12 o'clock position. I thought about grabbing um, like a large pair of uh, channel locks and turning it that way, but I don't want to mar this gear at all. If you guys need to change out the uh, crankshaft position sensor, which is right here. Crankshaft position sensor is this whole thing right here. That's the location of your crankshaft position sensor. So I'm going to bring this back around and put the belt on and hopefully rotate it uh, counterclockwise until the until the 12 o'clock position. Just make sure everything is lined up. Double check, triple check um, before you put your belt on. And like I said earlier, if you want, mark the front and rear cam on the top in two places on the cam and the belt. And let me show you one more thing that I've also seen one time. So the front and rear cams are different, okay? The back one has a little lip right here. The front one does not, it's just open. So. Uh, if you did the seals, the, the uh, camshaft seals, and you pull these off, these are 17 millimeter bolts. If you pulled these off, you can swap these. They will fit on onto one another. And uh, make sure that you uh, put the uh, right gear back onto the correct cam because the timing marks are different and their timing will be off. So if you guys do decide to do the seals, make sure you put the... Uh, the gears in the correct position because they can be swapped out and don't don't just automatically assume well here's my here's my thought on this if the if the cam seals are leaking go ahead and replace them if they're not leaking when you get in here do not touch them i've seen i've seen leaks created on the j series engines when seals are replaced all right so there you go all right i don't know if you guys can see that but i actually got it back up into place it's at the 12 o'clock position it's lining up both marks on the cog and on the engine block. The way I did it is come up here. Okay, so I needed to go uh, counterclockwise. So, okay, the way I did it is I wrapped 
the belt around the cog right here, right? If you need to go counterclockwise, you hook it up to the front cam. If you need to go clockwise, you hook it up to the rear cam, okay? So I w went around the cog and then I went right around the water pump and I went to the uh, front cam and, and uh, rotated it uh, counterclockwise. And I lined it up that way. I went a little bit too far, so then I had to go wrap it around the uh, tensioner idler pulley right there. And then around the uh, rear cam and then moved it just a hair with my 17, 17 millimeter wrench, which is right there, and got it to line up. So then you need to go, and this one might be out a little bit. Looks like it's dead on, and I need to check that one as well to make sure that that mark is there and lined up. I think it's off. Yeah, it's off. I can tell right now. Yep, it just moved too. So the mark is right here. It needs to be all the way back here. So I need to move that back into place. And the way I'll move it back into place, I'm just going to grab it with the 17 millimeter wrench and go counterclockwise. As long as you don't spin these more than 180 degrees halfway, you should be good to go and not risk the, not run the risk of damaging the valves hitting the pistons. Never do this more than 180 degrees and never, ever, ever, ever go 300, 360 degrees. If this jumps on you, the rear one always wants to jump for some reason. The spark plugs are actually in on this engine. So if it jumps on you, let's say it goes forward, then just move it back from here back to um, top dead center. If it moves counterclockwise on you, just move it back counterclockwise. To the position that you need to get it into for it to work and uh, then i'll reinstall the belt and uh, this belt does not look new at all it actually looks like the original one so i'm probably going to put a new belt on this very flimsy a new belt is is nice and crisp if that makes sense crisp but you can't there's not a lot of just over time working with these belts you can tell an old one from a new one and i'm pretty sure this is the, this is the original belt even though he just paid for a time belt job the water pump is an ASIN water pump, so that's a good thing. And the pulleys are coils. I mean, the bearings are coil bearings, so that's also good. I'm going to tell what the tensioner is uh, right here when I get it off. So I need to reset it, and then uh, I'll, I'll show you guys that procedure. It's not hard. You just get it off and get like a, um, you can use a vise or you can use a C-clamp and just uh, slowly push the piston back down. The only thing I'm not missing because I just moved well, the only thing I am missing because I just moved is the pin that I have from, it looks like a hand grenade pin. I'll put a picture of it right now. But the pin that I need to be able to put it back in to hold the tensioner piston in place once I set the belt back up. So maybe I can find that in my mess of a garage right now. And uh, if you guys want to see videos on how to do the timing belt, I'll put some links in the description below of some timing belt videos I've done. The J-Series Honda V6. So I love these engines. 3.5 the 3.2 the 3.0s they're great little engines awesome engines actually they're bulletproof um, as long as you take care of them you take care of them they'll take care of you here's the tensioner for the uh, tie-in belt um, to get this thing collapsed you just get a six inch c-clamp and uh, you just compress it down just take your time compress it there's a hole right here inside that uh, has to there's a hole and there's a hole in the outer case on both the front and the back and you basically slide down a piece of metal and it holds the tensioner into place and then once it's in place back on the engine block you pull it out and that's what sets timing I tried using the cotter pin but uh, as you can see it is too weak to hold the piston in place and um, had this nail right here and it was too too big wouldn't fit um, the way I got this cotter pin in, I had to grind it down a little bit on my grinder. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to do the same for this, this uh, nail. Grind it down so that it fits into this hole right here. But uh, yeah, you can see that this cotter pin is not holding this tensioner in at all. So I have to break this free and clear, cut this cotter pin, and um, start over. But that's how you do it. I won't bore you with that, but you just get a C-clamp. And then um, I actually put a piece of wood or actually a piece of plastic. You can use wood, plastic, anything that gives you a buffer between the uh, bottom of the tensioner and the actual C-clamp, the part that actually screws in. Because as you start screwing this down, it's going to want to uh, rotate the tensioner. So you just need a little buffer there so that it has something to slide on. But uh, there you go. That's, that's the concept. Now it's just a matter of finding something to hold this uh, piston in place after I release the C-clamp. 
So we were off one or two teeth down there, like one, one, maybe one tooth. But there you guys go. All right, well, I hope that helped you out. And uh, for more um, money-saving DIY videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.